Aloha, and welcome to this episode of the Hawaii Smooth Jazz Connection. I am your host, Gwendolyn Harris. My guest today is a young and energetic contemporary jazz violinist, and he is classified as a musical masterpiece. He is from Houston, Texas, and is a graduate of the University of Oklahoma with a Bachelor's of Arts degree in music performance with jazz emphasis. This young artist has won many awards and accolades. He has played the national anthem at the pregame show for the Houston Rockets, opened for Jonathan Butler at the Martini Blue Jazz Festival, and this is just a little snippet of what this young man has done. I am so happy to have this young artist on the show. Please welcome Dominique Hammonds. Hi, Dominique, how are you? Aloha. Aloha, aloha. How are you doing, Gwendolyn? Thank you for having me on your show. I am so happy to have you here. You just don't know. You just don't know. <laughs> oh, I'm excited. Know. I'm excited. I saw you, before we get into the question, you know, I saw you a few years ago, um, of course, on YouTube. You were like, YouTube, uh -huh. you had done a wedding and they yes. were showing, that, that video went viral. And I was like, oh. who is this person? And then since then, I've been following you. You uh, are amazing. You are you, amazing. You. And a little bit later in the show, people will get to see just how amazing you are. So tell yes, us, what got you into playing music? Or who got you? What and who? Well, I started at the age of eight. So I was, I was, I started at a young age. Um, the school that I attended at the time uh, offered a streams program. It was actually a madness school. And they had, you know, very, various different uh, art areas like dance, uh, theater, uh, strings, band. So um, I was actually picked to go to that school because you have to be in, a, it was like a lottery pick. And you, you know, if you win, you get selected to actually attend that school. So I was lucky enough to get uh, accepted to that school. And so then it was a, it was a point where I was, you know, I, I had, I had to decide what I wanted to do, you know, cause we had to choose an art. Uh, and so my grandmother was like, Hey, you know, you should, let's try violin. You know, nope, this, you know, nobody, there's not a lot of African American males playing violin, and and also it's different. It's outside the box, and so I gave it a shot, and um, you know it was it was very difficult. It was very new, um, and the more I did it, the more I practiced, the more I fell in love with the instrument. So um, I continued on. Uh, I kept going with it. Started taking lessons outside of school, um, of course, playing in school also joining various other orchestras outside of school. So I pretty much just did, I played violin like every day, practice every day. And I got better and better at it to, to the point where um, I wanted to make it a career. Wow. Wow. But how many hours a day do you practice on the violin? Uh, well, I'd say it varies really, maybe two hours maximum. Mm -hmm. um, I used to practice three hours, but you know, when I got to college, I kind of, it kind of diminished, but uh, yeah, I, I practice, I'd say two hours max. Two hours max. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, do you play any other instruments besides the violin? I don't. Uh, I can, I can play a little bit of piano because of course in college we had to take uh, classes for piano. Uh, it was required in our, in our major. Uh, so I can play a little bit of piano. Um, I used to play drums a little bit in church, <laughs> but it was it was kind of one of those things where oh the drummer didn't make it, so yeah you you can like do a little bit on the drum. So, but uh, professionally the only instrument I know how to play is is violin. <laughs> is violin, and you, yeah. you're, you're and I and I keep I stress this I keep stressing this. Uh -huh. You are amazing at it. But this Thank next you. question that I'm going to ask you is you know there's other artists that play the violin, and I'm and I'm talking about Damon Escobar, and there's a few other ones. Mm -hmm. What sets your sound apart from other violinists? Well, uh, yes, of course, there's a lot of uh, just amazing violinists out there. Uh, like you said, Damon Escobar. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, you have Joshua Vietti. Uh, a lot of a lot of great violinists out there. But I, I had I, I think what sets myself my sound apart is really uh, the soulful the soulfulness I put into my music. Uh, I tell a lot of people that I, I use music to express my emotions, to express my feelings. And I'm sure a lot of other artists can relate to that as well. Uh, but what sets my sound apart is that you can really feel 
what I'm actually feeling. So I put a lot of soul into my music. Um, when people hear my music, they say that, oh, this sounds so smooth. This sounds so soulful. Uh, a lot of people actually label me as a soul violinist. <laughs> so uh, I've gotten that a lot. And um, it kind of stuck with me to where, okay, um, I can really see myself being like a soul violinist because I've, I've never heard of a soul violinist. So, um, but what, to answer your question, what really sets my, myself apart from a lot of, of violinists is that, is that uh, just a style of play uh, that I that I put into my music, uh, which portrays as soul, soul for mm -hmm. music, so. Now, when you think about the violin, I know back earlier, back in the day, not today, but you think about the violin as a classical instrument, you know, classical music. Mm -hmm. What genre of music do you prefer to play? <sighs> That's tough, because I just love every <laughs> genre. I am classically trained. Um, uh -huh. Like I said, when I first started playing the violin, we had to learn, it was classical, right? Mm -hmm. um, I had to learn scales, arpeggios, uh, concertos, all of that. Um, and that that was the kind of stuff that actually made me who I am today. A lot of people don't know that I was a classical violinist. I went to college for classical. I was in mm -hmm. orchestra all my life, of all my violin career. And so uh, that, was the, that was the genre that really uh, elevated my skill, my technique, and it has really grown me to be the violinist I am today. But then after classical, I I went to gospel. I started playing in churches, and uh, that's when I really started to 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 connect with my violin more, because then I started started realizing that okay, I have a gift. You know, and, and I've been told that I had a gift, you know, as a child, you hear that, you're just like kind of, oh, okay, you know. But the older I got, the more I realized, okay, this is, this is a God-given gift. Uh, and, and so when I started playing in churches, I started to kind of start, I started realizing that. And I started connecting with my violin more on a spiritual level. And uh, still play classical. Uh, but then I also started doing, you know, I started playing in various churches around Texas. A lot of people uh, wanted me to come play at that church. So that was a thing for a while. And then that's when I started transitioning into uh, jazz. When I was in high school, I, I, I joined this jazz Latin band. Uh, and that was the next genre that I learned was jazz. And uh, it was difficult because it was definitely something new. I'm so used to looking at sheet music mm -hmm. that I wasn't used to just playing notes from my head, mm -hmm. you know. So I had to learn how to mold myself from classical into a jazz violinist. And of course, listen to various artists and just learning from different um, uh, teachers that, that, that teach jazz uh, is definitely elevated my career. So to answer your question though, the genre that would really stand out to me the most is gospel. Uh, just because that's when I first, um, that's when I first started connecting with my violin on a spiritual level. And then that kind of told it to me, uh, you know, that, that, that's when I started bringing up into other genres such as jazz, hip hop, R and B. And I started incorporating the, the spiritual aspect of it, the soul that I give into my violin with those other genres. Nice. I'm, I'm telling you, I just can't express enough. If people go to your go to YouTube and look you up, huh. they will. I mean, you just get into and you just get into everything, like you say, like yeah. you say. You can take a and 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 I had to. One of my friends um, really likes rap and gangster stuff, uh -huh. and he doesn't like smooth jazz. So I said, okay, all right, I pulled you up. And you did, um, which one is, it's one that you did, Gangsta, um, uh, I gangsta forget which Paradise? one it was. It was something that you did and I sent it to them. It was two people and they okay. fell in love with it. So now <laughs> there's, I said, see, you can take anything and make it yeah. jazz, you know what I'm yeah. saying? And, you and that's you. <laughs> and yeah, that you is you. Um, you took TLC. Yeah. Rock that. One of my favorites, Bobby Caldwell, you did that. Plus you have your own style, like you say, because you have your own music that's coming out. And we're gonna mm -hmm. talk about that shortly. But 
you collaborated with some people, but mm -hmm. if you could collaborate with anyone, any anyone that's dead or alive, you collaborated already with some people. Who would you like to collaborate with? Oh, definitely Noah Pointer. Uh, he's he's a jazz. He actually passed away. Um, I want to say 1995, 94, 95. I was born in 94, so I know he passed. I think it was a year after I was born. <clears throat> and uh, he's, he's a, of course, he's a jazz violinist. Um, and a lot of people, um, what made me find out about him is that a lot of people was like, hey, man, you know who you sound like? You sound like Noah Porter. I'm like, Noah Porter, who was that? And so I looked him up and uh, I'm like, <laughs> This dude, because he plays from the soul as well, he has the same kind of similarity. Uh, his his technique is it sounds exactly like mine, and uh, of course he's from a classical background as well. And um, a lot of his music, I listen to. Uh, there's a specific song that really stood out to me. It's called "Wayfaring Stranger," and um, that song really just <laughs> it did a lot. It did a lot to me. It did a lot to me, and it, 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 I can I can connect with him through. Um, I, I I can connect with him through his music, and so uh, man, I, I was like, man, if I if I had the opportunity to collab with him, that would have been, I think we would have made some history or something like that. I mean, we would have made some good music, but you know, unfortunately, he passed. But that that would be my pick for collaboration. Nice. Now, um, as you know, this pandemic is just taking everybody. Mm -hmm. everybody for a loop especially in the entertainment oh, yeah. field because all of your shows have stopped have been canceled or postponed and it's just hard right now to plan anything as far as when the next shows are going to be so what have you been doing uh during this pandemic to uh you know to keep yourself sane so, so to speak um <coughs> excuse me um yeah, just really doing a lot of the stuff I kind of was doing, but not mm -hmm. as much because before COVID, I was I, mean, I was performing a lot. I had private events at the private events every weekend, so I was doing so much traveling. Um, but also during the week, I would do like live shows on Facebook. Um, I still would post videos, content, but uh, but now I'm doing that even more because of COVID. Since a lot of my shows are canceled and pushed back, um, I'm able to grow my fan base on my social media sites. Um, I'm able to make more music, uh, better my technique, uh, just really make myself a better musician all around and a better man. So I took it, I took advantage of the, you know, I don't want to, I guess I want to call, I, I guess I should say opportunity because a lot of people think, you know, yes, there's a lot of negativity that came with COVID, but um, there's a lot of things you could, you can do as well to better yourself with all the downtime that you, that you have. And, um, you know, yeah, you know, it's financially, it's been pretty difficult, but I've always kept my faith first and I always knew God would take care of me. And, uh, just the, the, the supporters I have on uh, Facebook and Instagram and just, uh, that listen to my music each and every day, they, they send me encouragement. They help me throughout this whole thing. So it's been, it's been a lot, it's, it's been pretty, uh, they made it easier for me. So um really i just been just growing just growing my craft uh making making more music um and just putting more content up for my followers and so that way when everything is kind of going back to normal um and i do go to another city i have much more of a following in that city so i kind of just take advantage of the time well it's going to get better and and you're going you're gonna to be bigger and better than ever once all this is over. But we have to go on a quick break. We'll be right okay. back. All right.
Aloha, and welcome back to the Hawaii Smooth Jazz Connection, where we have Mr. Dominique Hammonds here, that amazing international violinist here, and I am just so happy. Welcome, Dominique. Thank you, thank you. Thank you now, before, um, before we went to the break, we talked a little bit how you got started and through the pandemic and all that, but tell us about your new single that you collaborated with Althea Renee. Uh, yes, yeah, so I just recently re uh, released a uh, a single uh, last Friday. Uh, it's called My Beautiful Dream. And it's actually, technically, it's my first smooth jazz song. Ah! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, uh, you know, I had to kind of make my imprint in the smooth jazz industry. Uh, I tell people, you know, I, I I do smooth jazz, but I do all other genres, you know. Mm -hmm. um, I like to, I don't like to put a label on my music, which is, you know. I just call it just kind of like feel good music, you know, um, but it's, it is my first official smooth jazz single featuring out the Renee on the flute um, produced and written by William Green out of Atlanta. Uh, so it's, it's, it's done pretty well so far. A lot of people are still um, uh, listening and I'm, you know, the streams are pretty good. So I got a lot of good feedback from it. So I'm really happy about that. And it, and the song is uh, available on all streaming platforms. Uh, okay. So, you know, if you want to go check it out, you can go. Uh, it's it's available everywhere. And also, uh, for more of my music, it's you can go to DominicCanvas.com. But also, my album Flavors is available on all streaming platforms as well. So. Okay. All right. So, are you going to play for us today? Yes, I am. Yes. I am. Yes. So, so the <laughs> so the song I chose uh, is actually off my latest album. Uh, it's called Flavors, and it's actually a cover, but uh, it's 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 by Keisha Cole, and it's called I Remember. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and just perform that for y'all today. Uh, so I hope y'all enjoy it. Here we go. <laughs> I'm excited. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
the crowd going, yay! <laughs> thank you, thank you. <laughs> thank you very much, thank you. <laughs> awesome. See, everybody, you hear Dominique playing, and this is just here. If you hear him <laughs> in concert, oh my gosh. And I can't wait till all this is over to when we start, you know, oh. coming back out. I just can't wait. Oh, I can't wait and we also need to get you here to Hawaii. So we've already talked about that part. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I can't wait. wait. I, man, <laughs> that's a dream. I'm telling you, I can't wait. <laughs> now, you are always performing for other people. What do you like to do in your spare time when you have it? Um, honestly, I like to play video games. I know that sounds so like... <laughs> <laughs> off topic but i like to play video games um just you know just kind of take my mind out of every off of everything because you know just a lot of this uh, i love music i love the music music industry it's, you know so far <laughs> i haven't gotten you know i'm not to the i've only been in the industry for like two years two three years um but you know it can get a lot of it can get it can be a lot sometimes um and so sometimes you know as much as as much as i love music I just kind of got to take my way, my mind away from it just for a little bit. Um, so that's that's one thing. Um, I also like uh, just just hanging out with friends, you know, just the everyday thing that you that normal people do. Um, but honestly, I I I I play violin every single day, so it's, it's like I life. can't really escape from it. Yeah, I can't really <laughs> escape from it. <laughs> so tell me, what? If you had to give, in this industry, okay, in the entertainment industry, especially music and all of this, um, you have some artists that make it and some don't. What would you give to a new and upcoming artist that's coming up behind you? Um, oh man, it's, 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 a, it's a few things. It's a few things. Um, uh, first, you, you have to believe in yourself. You got you, you, you to gotta tune out everybody because you're going to have a lot of critics you're going to have a lot of people that that tell you that hey this you shouldn't do this because there's been plenty of people that told me that hey violin is not going to work out for you you, you shouldn't do it you're wrong. Um, <laughs> <laughs> well yeah and uh you know and, and you have that thing that people you know people say that hey you can't how, how can you live off of being a musician you know um it's just that kind of mindset that's not really going to take you far if you really listen to other people like that um, you have to you have to know that you can you can live off of music you can do this you know um, um, another thing is uh, set, setting goals for yourself do things that no one else has done you know you have to step outside the box do uh, it set yourself apart from a lot of other you know musicians and that's why I try to kind of I, I try to set myself apart from other musicians and do things that you know um, they nobody's ever done so, and I'm still I'm still learning I'm still working um so that's that's one, another thing but I think the most important thing I would tell somebody is to invest in themselves uh, a lot of musicians and I'm not trying to knock anybody else but uh you know a lot of a, a lot of musicians are kind of closed-minded they don't see the bigger picture because a lot of people tell me that you know they, they would call me a local artist and I tell them like, no, I'm I'm not a local artist. I'm a national artist. You know, I I do this, and so you have to label you. You have to put that title on yourself to, you know, then the the more you do it, the more people are gonna start respecting you. And of course, you're gonna have haters. You're gonna have people that don't like, you know, because <laughs> I I definitely have a lot of people who uh, question why I'm at why why I'm at the point in my life compared to theirs, like, how did he get here so fast? You know, I've been doing this for X amount of years and he's only been doing this. I've, I've gotten a lot of that, but you know, like I said, you got to tune all that out and you have to, you have to do what's best for you. And so um, you have to invest in yourself. Um, I, I put a lot of money into promoting myself. I mean, I put hundreds of dollars each month just to post, boost my content on social media. Um, a lot of sacrifices that I've made um, but I, at the end of the day, I know that God's going to take care of me. He gave me the gift for a reason. And, you know, it, but those are the things that you have to, you have to sacrifice. Right. And that's excellent advice. That is excellent advice. And before we go, 
I want people to know exactly, because I know I'm going to get calls and texts about where can they find you and all <laughs> this stuff, right? So I need you to tell us exactly where can people find you to look you up, your website and all of that. Okay, uh, yeah, so you can find me on uh, DominicHammers.com. Um, I have videos, pictures. Um, my album Flavors is on there as well. Um, and then also we have at the bottom, if you want to book me for an event, so if you have an event, you can uh, um, fill out the little form on my website. Also, uh, you can follow me on Instagram. <coughs> Excuse me, you can follow me on Instagram at Dominic Hammonds Violin. That's D O M I N I Q U E uh, Hammonds Violin. And also on Facebook at Stradivari Music. S T R A D I V A R I. Stradivari Music. Um, honestly, if you type my name, Dominic Hammonds, into Google, you'll, <laughs> you'll find everything. Up. Yeah, it'll come <laughs> up. Also on YouTube. Um, I have a lot of videos on there as well. Uh, so like I said, I'm, I'm very, I, you can find me pretty much anywhere. And also my music, my, uh, my album Flavors, and my new single is available on all streaming platforms. So if y'all want to check that out, um, feel free to. Uh, so yeah, that's, that's pretty much me. <laughs> oh, that is so awesome. Like I say, I'm so happy to have had you here on the show. Again, we're going to have to get you here to Hawaii so you can perform Definitely. in person so that people can see exactly, you know, what you do. But again, Dominique, I thank you, thank you, thank you for being here on the show with me today. Thank and, you, Gwendolyn, for having me. And, and also you know, thank you, Think Tech Hawaii, for, for having me as well. So I had a great time. Oh, yeah, I'm going to be following you even more now. Most <laughs> definitely, most definitely. But again, thank you so much. And to all of you viewers, if you have any questions about where to find his music, you can text me or, or go on my page and I can go ahead and definitely put that up there as well. But I thank you everyone. Thank you, Dominic, again. And I thank you everyone for tuning in to the Hawaii Smooth Jazz Connection. Until next time, aloha and God bless.